you were called a liar. How does that sit with you? Oh, look. Because in Australia, in tough times, every one of us has to hold a hose. <laughs> No, one of your slogans was, uh, wasn't here to hold a hose. Uh, where where have you been, sir? You, it, 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 you know, it, it's, it, it, it was said during the election multiple times. So where, where have you been last week? Because in Australia, in tough times, every one of us has to hold a hose. You were called a liar. How does that sit with you? Yes, so she said you're on the stage with her and then you said behind her on the stage oh, words to the effect of I'm the Prime Minister and I run the country. Did you just say that? Well, Prime Minister, how good does that title sound? Sounds pretty good. And we well, Nat, uh, people, that, including Channel 7, were there for the recording of, of everything that went on. So you were, you were all there. No, uh, I first thought, no, no, but he surely wouldn't try that. Do you know who I am? Line. I'm speaking about 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm the Prime Minister. A better future is within our reach. And if I lead Labor into government, this is what a better future will look like. He's been caught out plagiarising lines straight from the Michael Douglas movie, The American President. In Australia, we have serious challenges to solve and we need serious people to solve them. Unfortunately, Tony Abbott is not the least bit interested in fixing anything. We have serious problems to solve, and we need serious people to solve them. Bob Rumson is not the least bit interested in solving it. He's only interested in two things, making Australians afraid of it and telling them who's to blame for it. He is interested in two things, making you afraid of it and telling you who's to blame for it. Oh, Anthony Albanese always been a man of my That's word. That's a full out lie. I've got a great team and I'm the captain. That's a full out lie. My word is my bond. That's a full out lie.